Welcome back viewers I am on the same page so now we have to create the PHP script for verifying the person the user so if they have correct credentials then they can allow they can go to the index page so for verifying the user we need to actually start a PHP script and inside the PHP script the first thing to do is to simply include the database file from includes folder which is db.php because we will be dealing with the database as well so in here I will simply uh, write if it set dollar underscore uh, sorry post if login button is active then execute this whole script in which we will first of all save the values and the first value is basically email will be equal to uh, my, uh, mysql real escape string this is basically a uh, uh, you know a security for sec security purpose we can use this uh, command to avoid injecting our SQL database we'll use this for uh, you know another uh, in customer account as well but right now we need this for for verifying the user because we don't want someone to put any malicious code inside our login admin login form and to harm or to harm our uh, database or to hijack our database or things like that so we will simply say get after that we will say email take from email field and now we will simply copy this whole line and we will put it here we will say name this is very important realscape string this actually uh, the PHP actually uh, stops the attacks using this command someone cannot uh, enter any code or any malicious code or anything so we are somehow saved from attacks using this thing now I will simply say uh, create a new uh, variable select user is equal to I will write a query SQL query select all from admins where user underscore email is equal to this one which is coming and user underscore password is equal to sorry you need to add password here and this to pass user password is equal to pass that's it now run this query run user is equal to mysqli underscore query we will say select sorry first connection and then select underscore user now we will count use count create another variable check user is equal to mysql underscore number underscore rows num rows which is this run underscore user variable I mean query so we will say if inside two curly brackets will show an expression and here we will give the condition if check user is equal to zero check user is equal to zero that's mean this user does not have login credential we'll simply echo and we'll say say a script javascript will alert give an alert say
password or email is wrong try again that's it and in else condition if that absolutely fine that person will have one I mean we will we, we will have uh, one record record for this user so therefore we are using else in that situation we will simply say uh, create a session sorry dollar underscore session which will be actually the user email and this will be equal to that email which is coming through the local variable and after that we will say we'll simply redirect the person to index.php page I mean the main page for the admin is admin window that open inside a self window we'll say index.php in here we will create a, a URL variable logged underscore in which will be equal to you have will write you have successfully logged in that's it control s to save and we need to actually start the session as well the starting of the page because we are registering the session here I mean saving the session so that's very simple we have simply targeted the login button and when then we have got the two values email and password and we have also secured this a little bit we have secu secured this login form using mysql underscore real scape string so this will uh, you know make sure that some person can know uh, any person cannot enter any uh, malicious code or that looks you know strange so that's it if the email and username is okay then the person will go to that page I mean index page so refresh the page now if we do if we you know add anything wrong so it will say password or email is wrong try again and if we add something like for example I have this email and my password is Wally I will say okay login password or email is wrong wow how it can be if l session username echo let's find here his name is admins that is okay just remove this from here and we'll put it here before the HTML session underscore start control is to save refresh it okay preparation and value is password again saying is wrong 
Oh my god, I'm really sorry. Uh, no, 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 this is okay. Email. This field name is email and this is password. Password. Button type, button name is login. That's okay. Oh, sorry, we have not given the login action page. Action page will be login.php. That's okay. Control S to save now. Go to the page once again. Add email and correct password. So again, it is saying it's wrong. How it can be? if checked user is equal to zero that means there is nothing and else session go to index.php will actually echo this thing to check whether it's working or not that is also not being displayed mysql i underscore number underscore rows ok we will put this thing there in the F condition we'll put it here we'll copy this here we'll say if that is equal to 1 then register the session and send the person to index.php Control is to save. Control is to save. Refresh the page. NW operation at gmail.com and we'll use the password. Once again, it is saying wrong password and wrong user. AW operation at gmail.com. go to index page and see if it is not set there is there might be a very small mistake inside this Okay, let me remove this MySQL real scape string and then once again check control is to save and come here press the page and just check out once again no that was also not the problem I have actually undo that.
so what is the problem then this is very simple script there is not that much problems you know button type is submit and class is this and name is that login is that ok placeholder oh my god oh my god I'm really sorry we have not given the name here you can see over here the mistake you can find now we have said here that this is a field having a password name a name is password but there we have only P you can see name is equal to P so that is a very very silly mistake we did now we will just write password because we have given here that we have targeted the password field name this one but there was only P that was by default inside the login form oh my god now I have corrected that everything was fine we just checked all the things for you know for satisfaction for our own satisfaction now it should take us to that page awparishan at gmail.com is my email and this is my password you can see over here in the admins table click login and we are taken to this page I mean to index page because the session is active now and the person has the details and you can check out here uh, URL variable logged in we can display this URL variable inside this uh, index page index.php anywhere we want but we will echo it here inside the lift section A nh2 tag will be there then we will say uh, style color red text underscore align text align will be center and we will simply echo that uh, I mean dollar under we will add a an add sign then dollar underscore get and we will logged in that is a logged in uh, a variable with logged in name so we have ju just echoed that and we will simply save h2 that's it control is to save now when you refresh this page you can see this you have successfully logged in this will be one time message we can simply insert two br tags here to make some space that's it now this is done and next video we will actually create the logout session logout page for this admin so this was very simple basically I mean this login page the PHP script was just simple and very very simple but we tested and rechecked again and again the things if we could find a mistake but the mistake was actually here in the name that was P and V targeted password here so that was a very silly mistake we found that and you can understand that sometimes a very silly and very small mistake can uh, you know can give you so much headache and that's something is a beauty of programming and web development so you can uh, then be wise and clever next time to check out everything again and again so that's for now next video we are coming back and we work on the logout script stay tuned